Due to those big moments, and you know there were some some mishaps, man, and protection, and you know, just it, it's tough. You know what I mean? And we had to, we got to do a better job up front, just uh, protecting six, and you know, helping them make uh, easy decisions. You're an easy. <clears throat> Thing to do would say, hey, run the ball more, you know, a little bit. You guys only had eight rushes to say. Would that be helpful for you as a guy who can just fire off and get some run plays in there to, yeah. to go get through a game like this? Yeah, man. Well, you know, I don't want to really point, point the finger to that. I'm just here to do my job, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, if it comes down to 70 pass plays in the game, two pass plays, you know, 80 runs, it doesn't matter. You know, I'm just here to do my job. So, uh, you know, that's all I can really say on that. What were they showing on run defense wise? I mean, obviously there wasn't much there today. Yeah, well, I mean, I think they did a good job in their five man front you know they've got two great four eyes one of them being a hall of famer uh you know and obviously tj outside man and, and high smith and some good linebackers that were running around making plays so uh they did a good job uh you know being better than us today what, what advantages can there be to for you guys as linemen to run more from under center than from out of the gun are there some advantages for you guys yeah yeah definitely man uh you know i think just sometimes being under center man it allows obviously the center you know to be more aggressive uh you know some of our alignments to be a little bit tighter and and for us to be more aggressive with our footwork and the angles that it creates uh with the back's path and everything um but as i said man i'm just here to do my job you know and and you know whether we run under center or not you know it doesn't matter to me obviously it was his first start what did you make of jake browning's performance yeah i mean he fought his ass off man and you know he came out there with the mentality and the confidence you know to go be, be able to go win that game and uh you know i'm very proud of the way that that he came on fault. Kind of how much did that confidence, you know, kind of boost the team as you were starting off strong and then kind of not able to sustain that? Yeah, it definitely helped us, man. Uh, you know, it was a one-score game, and, you know, Jake did everything he could to put us in posi position, you know, with the way he was scrambling and how hard he was playing. How much does this one hurt considering where you guys are in the standings and the kind of run you guys need to go on? Here? Yeah, no, man, they all hurt, to be honest with you, you know, especially when it comes down to the AFC North battles. Um, you know, these these ones are important, you know, just because this franchise and organization has been one the last two. So, uh, man, I, honestly, they've all they've all been tough. What was the mood at half? I mean, 98 yards, seven points, not what you guys want, but you did have the lead. Was there confidence yeah. that you could get a turn, get one more in the second half? Yeah, there was definitely confidence there uh, that, that we were able to, we were going to be able to come out and fire at all cylinders. But, uh, man, we just didn't do a great job executing today. Would this situation be what it is? Like, how do you prevent frustration or, or anything snowballing going forward? Yeah. We're well, just sticking together, man, and taking it day by day, play by play, rep by rep. Uh, you know, this is part of the business. It happens. So. Ted, you said that's, that's the lead. What do you mean by that? Well, you have to execute to win. That's a good football team. Um, they did enough to win today, and we didn't. And we find ourselves, you know, five and six with still a chance to backdoor our way selves into the dance. But we need, to, we need to play a lot better. This room isn't used to records like this this late in the year. How do you think the room is reacting so far to kind of what you're experiencing? Right now? I think, okay. I mean, this is a tough loss to a division opponent. Um, you know, they played a good game. We had chances to win and didn't. So what we're not going to do is come in and pout. Uh, we got a big Monday night matchup against the Jaguars. Um, I think it's an opportunity for everyone to, you know, see who their, their football selves are when you're not rolling, when you're, you know, find yourself uh, in a position to, have to fight your way in to a postseason bid. So um, we're going to come in here tomorrow, get to work. Uh, we have a longer week. Uh, we're going to go down to Jacksonville and get a victory. In your opinion, where can you guys find answers in the red? I think it comes down to individual execution. I think I thought we had a good plan coming in. Obviously, credit to the Steelers. That's a good defense all the way around. Um, but, you know, I. I don't know how many we called, but I don't think we executed them, you know, t to get many yards. So um, we need to take a take a look at ourselves, find out what happened, and you know, everyone be on the same page and be able to execute their assignment to get some yards in the run game. How much tougher is the game for you when you're unable to execute in the run game like you want? I think that's you know kind of been our problem this year. Uh, obviously, we've. Uh, very much underachieved in the run game. I think when you have a new quarterback come in, you want to be able to lean on the run. We were not able to today. Still had a chance to win, but ultimately failed. Can it flip immediately, or is it at this point that that is who you are as, as far as the running offense? You're never who are who you are in the NFL. This is a, you know, you're judged on 17 days. So it's who comes ready to perform on Sunday or Monday night in this case. So 
Um, you know, you see it all around the league. You saw it on Thanksgiving. You see it every week, week in and week out. Um, this is a league of, you know, highly trained professionals and and uh, you know, amazing athletes. So you gotta be you gotta be at your best when it counts the most. And when it counts the most for us is game day. So um, we're gonna get to work. And I know they'll have a good plan for us against Jacksonville. But it comes down to individual execution. Each guy, you know, winning their matchup. I know you're not going to question play calling or things. You're not doing this. This is more about like your mentality in a game like this, a real physical game. How much can it help you more run plays just to take the fight to them a little bit more in a game like that? Like, is, is that something that's helpful or is it, look, if we got to drop back and protect, we drop back and protect, that's fine. Anything we need to do to win the game. Yeah. We did have a chance to win the game. Um, when you're talking about volume of runs, I think the biggest factor that goes into that is just time of possession and total play count. Um, I know our defense was out there for a long time today, so you never want that as an offensive player. So, um, you know, I thought we had a good plan and put ourselves in a position to win, even at the end when it looked like we didn't. So uh, this team's going to fight, but, you know, we all got to take a look at ourselves and, and find out what we can do better to get a victory. Were they stacking boxes a lot today to try to stop it, or was it kind of their standard, a, more of a standard defense most of the time? Standard Pittsburgh defense is always going to stack the box heavy. I mean, they have good players over there. Credit to them. They had a good plan. Um, but, you know, we're, we're going to need to bust a few runs out of there at some point.